What's going on guys? Welcome to Sector for Nerds. Today I'm here to talk with you guys about the Acolyte episode 5. But first up, make sure you guys like this video and subscribe to the channel. Every Monday I'm putting up new videos talking about each and every episode of Star Wars The Clone Wars, a show that I love so much. And right now, each and every Wednesday, we're talking about the Acolyte, a show that I don't love so much. We do live streams every week, we're putting up YouTube shorts every now and again. So much great content, so make sure you guys are subscribing. All right, you guys, so let's talk about episode five. I feel like the majority of this episode revolved around this big lightsaber battle that was supposed to happen that was set up at the end of last week's episode. And I said, you know what, the one thing that last episode did do right was the final two minutes getting me intrigued for this battle. And I gotta say, they did a good job. It was a very good lightsaber battle. The problem is, was it as good as Duel of the Fates? Absolutely not! And some of you might be asking, well, Ryan, what does it matter is if it's as good as Duel of the Fates? Why do you care? Because that's what they promoted during their press tour. And I knew, I knew they were never going to be able to follow up on that. And the reason why it's so frustrating me so much right now, and it's causing me to raise my voice a little bit, is because what you're going to end up, I already know how this is going to go down. The minute that they start posting stuff from this saber battle, it's going to get met with, oh, but it wasn't as good as Duel the Fates like they said it was going to be and oh you know it, it wasn't that good and people are going to come up with reasons why this fight wasn't as good. I'm telling you right now it was a good fight. I enjoyed it. We're going to get into some of the things that I enjoyed about it in just a couple minutes but the promotional tour was so bad for them in, in everything that they were doing to try and promote this show. All of the agendas that were being pushed, all of the attacking the fans, it left a bad taste in a lot of people's mouth, including my own. So if in isolation, you know, like someone wants to, on their crew wants to say, yeah, you know, maybe it was as good as Duel the Fates or something like that. Like, you know, you maybe have a little bit of disagreement with them and be like, okay, yeah, I mean, I don't know how well that's going to go down, but... Because you've had such a bad press tour, you are now in a position where every little thing that you are going to do ends up getting critiqued. And I guarantee you that's what's going to happen with this duel. So, no, it wasn't as good as, as Duel of the Fates. It wasn't even nowhere near as good as Battle of the Heroes either. And for me, Battle of the Heroes is the best lightsaber duel. But you know what? It was a fine lightsaber battle that they did. I thought it was better than all of the battles that they did in the sequel trilogy. I think it was better than most of the duels in Ahsoka. I thought everybody involved did a good job. And once again, you guys, Jackie was my standout. That girl held her own like my goodness when you, you had the you know the sith lord who did confirm that he is a sith lord so everybody that was asking me last week how do you know it's a sith lord there you have it and of course the uh the internet community is pretty much refers to him as smilo ren now but yeah like smilo ren ends up revealing himself and of course it's the guy that we you know saw with uh may helping her along the way but going back to jackie like she you know, there was one point where she pulled out two sabers and started battling with them. Like, that was sick. And then her and Master Soul going up against Smilo. Like, it was, it was really cool. I wish we would get more, you know, good lightsaber battles like this. Like, this should have been, this should have been like what an average duel looks like. And then from there you build and, and you make stuff better and better, you know, in this Disney era. Just next time, don't promise us that it's going to be as good as Duel the Fates. Like, let the fans tell you that. You know what I'm saying? That's something that, uh, in, in situations like that, where you say, like, oh, this is going to be the best thing ever. It's like, well, no, you you don't have to tell us that. Because you guys worked on the show. You're going to have a bias. Let us tell you how good it is. Because whether you believe it or not, it's the fans' opinions that ultimately matter the most. They're the ones that are that are paying attention to the product and the ones that are invested and passionate about it. Once the Saber Duel was over and it became about the two sisters, I immediately lost interest again. They're by far the least interesting thing in this show. And ironically, the show is supposed to be about them. I don't know, like I said, Jackie was my standout and unfortunately she's dead now. And she got stabbed like three times too. It was so, it was so sad. I got, I got so pissed, dude. I was, I wanted her to live. But I also understand, right, if there is a Sith going around, uh, these guys can't be living, which, you know, also includes Master Soul. But then yet again, you know, Kiati Mundi last week was also, you know, involved in the meeting and he apparently knew about what was going on. So yeah, he was keeping secrets. 
If I'm being perfectly honest with you guys, I'm kind of at a point now where I'm dreading the last three episodes. I feel like all of the intrigue that I had in this show was all built around the final two minutes of episode four, and they, they paid that all off in episode five, and now I'm just at a point again where I'm like, yeah, I just, I don't care. I don't care about this story. I don't care about the main characters. I don't care about this era. I don't know. I mean, as fun as the duel was, I'm kind of over it now. We'll see what happens next week, you guys, but I feel like we are going to get to a point, and I definitely hit this point when I was watching Andor, where if I wasn't making videos for you guys, like, I would have stopped watching the show. And listen, for everybody that is enjoying the show, like, more power to you guys. I'm happy you're all able to enjoy it. I don't know. I, I guess I'm just kind of in a weird spot right now because I didn't like Andor. I haven't liked the Acolyte much so far. I didn't like Tales of the Empire. And the next big show that's coming up is Skeleton Crew, and, and we really don't know much about that right now. So, I don't know. I... I... I don't know how to explain it, you guys. It's just, like, I guess I'm worried that maybe, like, just this generation of Star Wars just isn't for me. But then I say that, and then I think, like, well, but I enjoyed The Mandalorian. I I've enjoyed a lot of the Mandoverse stuff, like The Mandalorian, The Book of Boba Fett, I enjoyed a bit. I enjoyed Ahsoka. I enjoyed Bad Batch. But then I see stuff like this, and I go, like, well, what are we doing here? I believe that is going to wrap us up for today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below what you guys thought about this episode. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, share this video with others to help support the channel. And I will see you guys next time. I'm glad you're here to tell us these things.